Now, I'm going to walk around the ring without saying a word to my dog. And you'll notice she goes to the head of the ducks and then brings them back to me. Now, if she were out in a big field and I just sent her, she would go and, and bring my flock of sheep home and I wouldn't have to tell her. Now, you see how she's, um, she stopped there when, when she brought me the ducks. I'll hurry over here. And she knows she's brought them to me and then I'll move again. Now, she, this is bred into these dogs. You don't teach them um, to do this. That's why I like the border collie. They go to the head of the stock. So, when I'm at home, I want her to go in the direction that I want her to go. I don't want her just going where she wants to. So, I'm going to teach her um, which direction I want. And we don't think right and left when we work dogs because the right and left, if she's in front of me, is different than if she's behind me. And also we don't use hand signals because I don't want her looking at me. I want her looking at whatever she's hurting. So we think clockwise and anti-clockwise. Lie down. Actually, one of the first things we teach the dog is to lie down and slow things down. So clockwise is come back. Lie down, come back, lie down, walk up. Then we teach them to walk up, lie down, come back, lie down. Now if I were to buy a dog from England, Scotland, um, the United States, and I said come back to that dog, it would go in a clockwise direction, lie down. It's sort of universal. Away to me is the words for the um, other direction. Away to me. And she will go that way no matter where she is. She can be a quarter mile away from me. And if I say, away to me, she will go in an anti-clockwise direction. That way I can direct the dog when she's out in the field to go wherever I want the, the sheep or the ducks. Now I usually work sheep with her. Away to me. Lie down. Now if she's really far away, or if she's working in bushes so she can't hear me, um, or if it's you know windy or snowy or whatever, we put lie down, lie down, lie down, stay. We, we um, put whistles on our dogs. Now these whistles, lie down, stay. We put whistles on our dogs, and this is a shepherd's whistle, and most people that have dogs use one of these whistles. And I teach my dog the directions with my whistles that I make up. So if I were to sell this dog, I would have to teach the new owner um, what my whistle is. So my whistle for the clockwise direction for open. And that's her lie down whistle. That's her walk up whistle. And then she has the other direction is Now you'll notice that both whistles sound completely different. So if she's out in the field and it's windy, she can tell by the, when I first start the whistle, which direction I want her to go. And I can also cut the whistles down in half, um, so she'll go slower, and I can speed them up. lie down, lie down. I just used a part of that whistle and she only went a few inches. I would like to have three volunteers, lie down, stay. Three volunteers, one, two. You put your hand up first, so 
One, two, three. Okay, you want to come and help me? That would be great. I only need three. Okay, one stands right here, so you can stand there next, so you can see your dad. One in the middle, right in the middle. And don't worry, the ducks won't bite you. And one at the other end. These three particular ducks were raised in a kindergarten class in Calgary. They were hatched. They were, um, so they're very, very used to people. So they might go through your, your legs if, um, but they won't, they won't hurt you. Um, it's really been kind of fun to work these. I can feed them under my hand, but they, they and they, um, they're only, how old are they? They're born in April. So they're really, really used to people. Um, anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand over here so you know I'm not helping my dog. And I'm gonna use the whistle and I'm gonna do a serpentine around um, these helpers here with a whistle with my dog. So, I'll, and that sort of will explain that we can make the, the animals go wherever we want. I'll just move them to start over here. got a little excited and they, they flap around. At home we want our dogs to work far out and that way the duck, the animals don't get excited and also um, they can control the ducks if they're further out than if they're close in. So I'm going to give her a little correction to get out because she was a little close there. Okay. Out, out, out. Come by. Out. Out. Oh, she's not taking it. I'm going to
close again there. Wait. Lie down. Come back. Come back. Come back. Lie down. There we go. <laughs> so you see that when she stayed out a little further, the ducks went where I wanted them to go. Come on, lie down. Well, that's my presentation for the oh, We're going to put the ducks away. Is there any questions anybody wants to ask me about herding? Well, you see, that's their tail there, and their heads are there. So he asked me what the head of the stock meant. So I'm going to send her come back. So she goes to the head and turns them and brings them to me. That's what going to the head of the stock means. Any other questions? No? Yes. Oh, she was wondering how um, how I remembered. I have one whistle for come by and one whistle to, for away to me. So I use the same whistle all the time, and that's why the dog learns. It's like saying sit to your dog every time that he sits, right? Okay. Yes. How long does it take to train a dog? I start my dogs about eight or nine months old, and they um, they can't learn too much at that age, but um, two years. It takes about two years. Uh, one, I start them in a year, and then by two, two and a half, three, they're, they can do anything I want them to do on the farm. No, they learn it in a matter of two minutes because it's natural. If I go up to Oban and just, um, it's like lunging a horse, you go behind their eye and go, oh, come by, lie down. When you start them as puppies, you stay behind, come by, come by. She's got to mind her own today. And you just chase them around, and when you chase them around, you say, come by, come by, come by. And then the other way, wait a minute, wait a minute. And they learn that in lie down. Because it's natural for them, they learn that in a matter of a day or two or a couple of lessons. Yeah. Any more? Well, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Hope you learned a little bit. Oh, here's one more question before I go to them. Um, my dogs are usually 12 or 13 when they are retired from work and um, they will live to be about 14 or 15. Yeah. If they don't get hurt or kicked by a cow or something. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the Sandy. I think we're going to have an auctioneering um, demonstration in here. Uh, next, so stick around and uh, it's very, very interesting.